Hello everyone. So I've been getting a, a few questions about Teddy. Um, people asking how he works. So I wanted to do a follow-up video. Um, I've also had some people uh, asking if I could build them one. Um, maybe commissioning one for them. So I, I wanted to, to show everyone behind the scenes kind of uh, what all is involved to, to make him work. Um, so first thing is I wanted to show so whenever you move his little towel and I'll turn him around a little bit so he's actually being supported by this this base here and this base it has two servos on it one servo uh, controls um, this direction so it, it makes him rock left to right and then this servo you can see the way it's geared that controls his forward to back motion so he's actually completely supported by those two servos so that's why I put a towel underneath his leg so that it looks like he's sitting and moving on his own there's actually this little base that's that's under him um, this base actually needs to be rethought out a little bit it's it's not quite a uh, heavy enough so whenever he when he moves sometimes that rocks um, but I'm gonna go on my computer here um, and show you see I have tilt and lean now this is a um, I'm using a, a maestro controller to control the servos in his body so I've got five servos in in his body you can see neck rotate I've got the the left neck right neck which I'll show you how those work and then the tilt and the lean which the tilt and the lean are those two servos down here um, the way that works and I'll show you my mess of wires down here on the floor which I plan to clean all this up it's just right now it's on a it's on a breadboard I can do a little circuit board for this but here's the maestro um pol I guess how you say it polu pololu I don't know how to say it um but you can see I've got those five servos there and then this control program just can directly control those servos so I'm going to just I'll move the tilt one slightly which is rotates him back and forth you can see that servo moving So it makes him rock. And then this one. Oh no, that was what it was. The lean. That's making him lean right there. So we've got a lean, we've got a tilt. Okay, um, and that actually that moves his his body now for his neck you can see let me turn him all the way around here I have him undone where you can see the back of his head but let me just lift up his shirt here and just take it all the way off just like that you can see all of his innards are gone. We've got three servos in his body. Now this servo here, see it goes a shaft that goes all the way up to the middle of his neck. You can, you can kind of see right there. See that shaft? It goes all the way down to this servo which is laying flat. And then attached to that, which let me just rotate that so you can see. So that is that servo right there moving. And that rotates his that rotates his head. As you can see, right here. There is a I've got a a plate 
the top and bottom that attaches these two servos to that shaft um, and then at, at the top top of I didn't mean to zoom in at the top of that that rotate shaft this is a universal joint if you can see that up in there and what that lets us do is I've got a ball joint here and a, a ball joint here same going here so these two servos in combination if they both go this way they're attached to the back of Teddy's head so if these two go up they force these up and his, his head goes his head goes this way if those two pull down then his head comes back now if these move in the opposite direction so say if this one goes up and this one goes down, then his head will will tilt in that direction or in that direction, depending depending on how it goes. Um, and then in his head, it's, it's hard to see since I still have the the styrofoam on there. I just have a little piece that I a three D printed and actually just uh attached to his existing structure of his head if you see this is uh, Teddy's this is what usually is holding his neck this is a little piece here and lets the wires go through but I actually was able to to get this to go right through the hole that this piece originally was on so that worked out really well and you can see I had to do a lot of cutting and, and boring in his plastic in order to get this to the servo to, to sit right down in there and also you can see I had just enough clearance on the left and right to be able to rotate his, his head around All right, so um, I'm going to play just a little bit of the animation so you can see all the servos working together. You can see as those push up, his head goes down. They're coming up. Just a minute, they're going to tilt. You'll be able to see them. Right there, he's tilting his head as they're alternating. Now I have to be careful whenever I'm doing the programming because I don't want these two servos to get too far out of tilt from each other because if they do they put a lot of strain on that uh, on this piece in here and the universal joint so I just have to be aware of that on the programming so for the programming I'm using a program called VSA and what it lets you do is, see I've got his audio track right here. It lets you draw in lines for um, the movement of each, um, of each servo. So you can see up, the, up at the top here, neck rotate is the red, the left neck, right right neck, tilt and lean. They each have their own colors there. And you can just, uh, you draw these in, you can manipulate them as you need to. I was gonna try to zoom in so you can, okay. 
you can see the the left neck and the right neck see they're actually since they're facing opposite directions like that if you want the head to go down you've actually got to make them go in opposite directions up or, up or down if you want them to tilt they, they've got to kind of move together I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this but I'll try to play a little bit while Trying to get the camera good. You can see it's kind of hard to get them both to move. Now we're fixing to go down. Now, I, I didn't quite get into um, his facial movements in this video. Um, just a brief little talk about that. So I've got a little processor here um, that I'm actually taking the, the audio, the regular audio track, and I wrote a little program that decodes the, the facial movements. Um, and I, I put new servos in his face. Um, and that's how that works. And... I don't know if I'll always leave it like that or if I'll move it over here so that I can actually do the do the programming for the, the facial movements in VSA. But for the time being that, that works okay. It's not it's not great, but it does the job. So yep. Yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions about about anything, um leave them in the comments. I'm, I might break him down a little bit further in a, another video so that you can kind of see more. With them all put together, it's hard to see what's going on. But, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.